Welcome to Institute of Quality and Reliability. Hi, this is Heyman. Reliability prediction using Monte Carlo simulation with free open source software. I had made a video on this subject earlier using Simular software, but many viewers have informed that the Simular software could not be downloaded. Therefore, I have created this new video using Ergo simulation software. Link to that video is provided in the description of this video. In engineering, we have been taught about deterministic approach to design. In this approach, both strength and load are considered as single point values, so that factor of safety is strength upon stress and design margin is strength minus stress. In reality, stress and strength both are not constant but vary. Stress varies because of the loading cycles while as strength varies because of material variations degradation or deterioration due to aging, fatigue, corrosion, temperature, etc. The load variation example that we see in this uh, slide is related to wind turbines. In a wind turbine, load on the blades will vary significantly based on wind velocity and the location. The wind velocity may follow viable distribution. Also, the strength of the blades will also depend on the curing of the resin, reinforcement and other variations in the manufacturing. Similarly, in the elevators, load will fluctuate while going up and coming down and also will depend on the number of passengers. Due to fatigue and corrosion, the strength of the ropes can vary and it may not remain same as the designer has assumed initially. Such problems may be solved by using Monte Carlo simulation. The Monte Carlo simulation techniques are widely used not only in reliability but also in industrial engineering, finance and many other situations. In Monte Carlo simulation, large number of values of system performance are generated using random numbers based on assumed distribution models. Repeated calculations of system performance are made using randomly generated that is simulated values based on the probability distributions that describe each element of the model. Monte Carlo simulation does not involve complex mathematics, but it requires an extensive use of computer time as each possible event for each unit of the model must be repeatedly sampled over the desired mission time. Typically the number of simulations may be more than 10,000. Predictability of Monte Carlo simulations depend on how well we have modeled the reality and the number of simulations that we are using. There are many software available for Monte Carlo simulation. We will use Argo which is an open source free software. The Excel screen will look like this after installing Argo. On the right side you will see an additional menu which shows Argo. This software can be downloaded from the link shown here. The link is also provided in the description of this video. If you click on the Argo icon, you will see the Argo menu as shown below. We will now see an application example. Strength of a unit is normally distributed with mean of 65 kg per millimeter square and a standard deviation of 5 kg per millimeter square. The unit is exposed to a stress that follows viable distribution with scale parameter of 20 kg per mm square and shape parameter of 1.5. The figure shows graphs of the two distributions generated on Minitab software. We can see the small overlapping area which will tell us the probability of failure. We can use Ergo software to solve this problem using Monte Carlo simulation. Once you download the Argo files from the link provided, you will see the folder which looks like this, in which you will see the setup file and install the Argo software using the setup.exe file. After that, you should see an Excel file 
which appears in the folder. Click on the Excel file to open that. So this is an Excel file. On the top side you see the menu of Excel. On the right side you see Argo. Now if I open a blank file and click on the Argo, now you will see the complete menu of Argo here. You got distribution. If you, if you click on the drop down menu of the distribution, you will see popular, continuous, discrete, exotic. Then there is a correlation. Then there are results, simulate, options, analyze results, sensitivity, embed charts, uh, embed tables, extract, report, etc. And then there is a help file also. If you click on help, you will see the link to the documentation and then post questions, you view the Argo product license, etc. I will now illustrate how to use Argo software to solve this problem using Monte Carlo simulation. The problem definition is shown on the screen in this Excel file and on the top side you see the Argo menu. So if you click on the Argo menu, you can see the complete menu. If I scroll down, I have created a table which you can see for the strength and stress distribution. For the strength, it is a normal distribution with mean of 65 and standard division of 5. While as for stress, it is viable distribution with scale parameter 20 and shape parameter 1.5. Now let us see how to use the Argo software. First, I will create distribution for strength. So I click on distributions on the left side. I click on the drop down box. The normal should be in the popular. So the first one is normal. You should be on the cell where you want to create that distribution. The mean is 65. And standard deviation is 5. And I say apply. So you see one simulated value, but it's not one single simulator value, it actually creates a distribution. Now second value is of stress which follows viable distribution. So again I click on the distribution and I go to continuous and here you, the last one is viable. So in the viable distribution we will have to put the shape parameter as 1.5 which is given and the scale parameter as 20. So it has created the distribution of stress now using the viable distribution. As we know failure will occur when strength is less than stress. So in the cell below failure I write a formula equal to strength minus stress. At the moment it is showing 29.71 but this is only for one value. So I need to declare this cell as result. So I click on the result and then now you can see that the software has added additional some formula at the rate RTA result etc. So now I am ready for simulation. So I click on simulate. So it has now said simulation is complete. I click on OK. Now if I want to find out the distribution of failure, I can click here and then go to analysis wizard, selected cell. So it will give me result of the distribution. This is a visual interpretation using a histogram. But you can easily see that there are how many values below zero. So here you got two values and here you got two more values. So total number of failures that is below zero is equal to four. So four out of thousand simulations that this software has done. If the number of failures is four out of 1000, then the number of successes is 996. And we can estimate the approximate reliability from this simulation as 0.996. That is 996 divided by 1000. This graph has two axes. On the left side you see the probability density. So it is scaled down to unit 1. 
and on the right side you see actually the frequency that is the histogram on the top left corner you can also see the cdf that is cumulative distribution function i can close this window and go back to the original sheet another way to solve a problem is now i have created a cell failure count and below that i enter a formula equal to if strength is less than stress count 1 else count 0 so it will count the number of number of occurrences when stress is less than 0 directly it will give the number and i add this as a result and now i simulate once again and now if i say click on that failure count cell i mean cell below the failure count and say and then go to analysis wizard and selected cell i directly get the number of items which have failed of course this is 6 so this time it may be different each simulation might give you slight different results so 6 items have failed out of 1000 So the reliability is nine nine four upon thousand. That is point nine nine four. Let us do a quick recap. In this video, I have explained and illustrated how to estimate reliability in stress strength interference analysis using Monte Carlo simulation with a free open source software called Argo. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you found it worth watching. Please subscribe to Institute of Quality and Reliability channel if you want to watch more videos on reliability engineering, Six Sigma, and quality engineering.